Hi guys, welcome back to PJ's. In today's video, we're going to look at timing marks. A basic, straightforward video, just giving you an indication of where the timing marks are on the 8-valve uh, Golf Mark 1 motor. And that would assist you when you are either going to do a cam belt change or things like that. Okay, so now I've already set up the timing marks as to where they're supposed to be. Uh, but I'll go through them with you systematically. Okay, now the first timing mark that I want to show you is on your cam pulley or your camshaft sprocket. Um, there's a timing mark on here. There's an indent on the inside of the cam pulley. And it is right over here where the screwdriver is facing right now. It's in line with the lip of the tackle cover. Now the next um, timing mark I want to show you is situated on the crankshaft um, pulley and that is to where I'm pointing right now. There's usually a mark over there and there's also a mark higher up on the plastic cover, you know, that covers the cam bell. So you need to line those two up. Let me not forget to tell you that there's another pulley behind the cover here. Um, obviously mine you can't see now because my cover is on there but I'm going to put a pick up for you to give you a better idea this pulley inside here has got to be lined up with your crank um, shaft pulley but have a look at the pick and you'll get an idea what I mean we sometimes neglect to line that pulley up and that is why your distributor shaft is not um, straight Yes, and that pulley is commonly known as your intermediate shaft pulley. Okay, now you've got your marks on your cam shaft and your crank. So um, what some people do is they actually take off the, the valve cover. And that is basically to check if the valves are closed and if it's facing, the cams are facing the correct way. And then another check that you can do is also um, you can take out um, your first number, your number one plug and you can actually put a screwdriver down there and you can actually feel if that piston is to the top. If the light is good you can actually see the piston right at the top. So that will tell you that timing is spot on. And then coming to the gearbox side, you will take off this cover and you will see that there are also two marks over there, a diamond cutout and another mark that it matches up to. So ensure that those are lined up. Okay, then the next thing that you're going to do is you're coming to your distributor, take it off, and then you would go to your rotor. Your rotor has a little point on it, and that should match up to a point that is on the rim here of the distributor. And when that mark on the rotor is facing to the little line on the distributor, the rim there, that means it is firing on number one. That's it guys, there's a very straightforward video for you to help you with your timing marks. In the event maybe you need to change your cam belt or if you just want to adjust your timing, those are all the marks. Thank you guys, I've put a link in the video for you to go and have a look at some more Mark 1 related stuff. Cheers!